step here, and today I'm gonna make my world famous banana pudding. I'm talking about, it's undefeated, honestly. So if you make your banana pudding with vanilla wafers, I can honestly not trust you. And so I'm gonna already go and give you this secret. Chessman cookies are the way to go. And so, you start to line your pan. And so this you can take to anything, office parties, my teammates really love it, um, it's a good seller. Next what, we, what we'll do is, I mean, what's a banana pudding without bananas? So you'll have two fairly ripe bananas and you'll just peel them and you'll begin to slice them into smaller chunks. So what I cannot tell you is how I make my French vanilla pudding. And so I've already made that. Now I have an eight ounces of cream cheese. I'm just gonna toss that into a mixing bowl. 14 ounces of sweetened condensed milk. I'm gonna pour that on top of that. So what I'll do is I'll mix that all in. Next what I'll do is I'll pour that mixture into the pudding that I had already made. And so if you don't have a French vanilla pudding recipe, you can easily Google one. You can also use an instant pudding. Next up, whipped cream, anything, any type of whipped topping. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna fold that into the mixture. Perfect, not everybody has to have cookies in and we'll put a few more bananas. So now what you want to do is you want to spread the cookies all over. This time you're a little bit more meat. 